Hello, my strong, strong friends. I'm back for now. I wanted to make this video to say hi. Okay, I've been gone from YouTube for a while. I said in an end card of my nationals recap that I was taking some time. Yeah, I have been having a complete and utter nervous breakdown. Um, I think it was caused by an identity crisis and we're in Spain right now. I didn't get a cat. This is Ryan's mom's cat. Hi, Shadow. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this. <laughs> if you're not a subscriber of mine or don't know who I am, this would be a weird video for you to watch, but maybe it'll help. I don't know. Uh, but I just want to make this video really, I think it's like 50% for myself and the rest is to explain where I've been, what happened. I don't know if this would ever help anyone, um, but at least you'll get an update on me. And also, hopefully I can like circle things around and talk about what's in the future for me. And that's it. So let's talk about my identity crisis. <laughs> Before I get started and talk about what happened or what I'm what I was dealing with um, I want to make it clear that I'm not making this for anyone to feel bad for me. I had a Good month of a pity party where I one blamed everyone but myself and just felt really really sorry for myself So I don't want to do that here it's no one's responsibility to make sure that I don't have an identity crisis, right? So I wanna make sure um, that you know uh, that I don't need you to feel bad for me. I went through that, it's over, and now I'm just really looking forward to doing what I can so that that doesn't happen again. So after nationals and leading up to nationals, which was in October, October 14th, that weekend, I was just in a really bad place. Um, I think I sort of disappeared from the internet for a couple of weeks on YouTube and Instagram, which is unlike me. I made a very, this was probably a mistake and probably dramatic, but I made a very dramatic Instagram story. I'll put it here so that you can see how dramatic it was. Um, a lot of you were very concerned for me and I appreciate that. After I posted that, I was just so sad. I was in my... I was in my shame spiral <laughs> from that time. I think that was probably like mid-October somewhere. Um, I just took a good like two and a half, maybe three weeks off of the internet. Yeah, during that time and a couple weeks before nationals, I was just wallowing in a lot of negative emotion. And that's what happened um, on the surface at least. I think I can attribute that time. Uh, I, I guess I don't need to go into detail on like what that means. I was really sad. I wasn't doing anything. Um, I do think it was a nervous breakdown because I started having some like harsh ideas like I want to delete every single one of my social media channels and I want to I don't want to be Meg Squats anymore um, which I think is a decision that might not seem like that big but that would be a decision that would affect uh, my life, my work life, my financial life, my family. Um, that would affect a lot of things. And I was really like very seriously considering that and I was considering never posting again. You know, that wasn't my only like harsh idea that I had during that time. Um, I guess I don't need to talk uh, about too many other things, but I was really sad. I was depressed. I had constant negative emotions, negative thoughts. Um, yeah, it was just really bad for a good like month plus. Um, and it sucked. So I don't know if I can say how I saw the other side um, and how I got through it, but I think understanding that I was having and maybe still am having an identity crisis <laughs> um i think sums it up it is fair enough to say that it is an identity crisis um because i've just been trying to figure out who i am it has been difficult for me to be on the internet because my identity crisis is not just like who is meg squats it's who is megan gallagher that's the real me and it's been hard to distinguish between the two. I don't have any boundaries. 
I think at all. I don't think Megan Gallagher, the person, really exists maybe outside of my immediate family relationships and um, Ryan. I think every other relationship in my life is based on who I am on the internet. People will hear one thing that Meg Squats says and obviously like Megan Gallagher is Meg Squats. Um, but like my real personality doesn't end there. And so I, th I think what I'm trying to say is that a lot of times people will hear something that the online me says and thinks and then they make a lot of assumptions about me as a person and they assume, oh, she said this one thing, so she must think all the related ideas based upon that one thing that she said. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that is something that has made it difficult for me to understand who the real me is and understand um, the distinction between the two because a lot of times Meg Squats doesn't talk about every idea or every, I don't have to respond to every assumption that someone makes. Um, I just am hearing the opinions of what people are assuming. I was doubting who I truly am and I think that bled into not understanding what to do with Meg Squats and not understanding who she was. Um, and so this break and I think my identity was caused, my identity crisis was caused because that line was so blurred. Um, I think, yeah, this break has just been about understanding who I truly am and fixing whatever holes are there, what fixing whatever I need to personally work on, um, or at least trying to, working on them. I don't think I can ever be fixed, but yeah, that's it. I can't like be Meg Squats who is, if I could characterize her, it'd be just this happy person who gives you good information about lifting and wants you to have fun while you're doing it. If the real me is like not all together. Um, I don't ever think there's going to be a distinct line. They're not two separate people. Um, but yeah, I think it will be more uplifting to think about and talk about what is next for me. <clears throat> In the time off, I've kind of given myself a little bit of an audit to see, reflect and look at what projects served me whether that be by success or by like just simply how much fun I had during them and what I enjoyed the most and what I thought you know resonated most with my goal um my goal is to get a barbell in every woman's hands that's it and I think going back to some of the things I was so focused on anything that detracts me from that goal is a complete and utter waste of time point blank I think this is a great opportunity for me to explore some of the things that have been the most fun and have been the most successful and continue to do that. I think it's very obvious that the series like Train Like a Pro was really successful and those videos were the most fun to make. And I'm just going to try and follow the fun. I know I've said that before, but I think this whole period of giving myself the time to learn that if I stop doing that, if I stop following the fun, and if I stop being who I am, um, for whatever reason that may be, um, that's only gonna result in not good things. <laughs> the thing that got me in the gym and made me stay in the gym was the satisfaction that came with getting strong and the satisfaction that came with getting better at something. Whereas before I was always trying to look a certain way, or fit a certain type of person, <sighs> identity crisis. <laughs> that thing that kept me in the gym, I know that's what can get you watching this. I know that's what can motivate you to stay in the gym or someone who has never heard of lifting <laughs> or never seen a barbell. I know that that's what can get them hooked too. And that's really what I wanna do because I feel like I wasted so much time not lifting uh, that I want anyone who can to avoid a life of not lifting. <laughs> yeah, everything's gonna be focused on those 
like pillars that prop up the mission of getting more barbells in the hands of women and men and people. So yeah, that is I think all I can explain to kind of cue you in on what's going on. I'm sure this is probably mostly just cathartic for me and like 50% for me, maybe. <laughs> Maybe to help you understand like my kind of ups and downs the past year. Um, and yeah, I hope I can just have a clean slate now with my own self. From this point forward, I'm, I, I don't know why I do this, but I'm always like, okay, three videos a week. That's what we have to do. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try one video a week and I have a few ideas. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you didn't cry. I am tearless. How about that? Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Shadow? Love you, Shadow. Didn't mean to wake you up.